Okay, uh, so I'm Anthony. Um, uh, this, is, this is Phil, this is CY, and there's also Tim who couldn't make it today. Um, so what, uh, what we've created is a web platform for users to record, play back, and share their, their life story, pretty much. Um, so uh, the idea being that uh, uh, initially when you diagnose, well, when we're, you diagnose with like dementia, um, uh, the, well, the doctor will tell the, user, the patient to kind of record their, sto their story before it's kind of like uh, gone. <laughs> Uh, later on, they, later on, uh, <laughs> they'd be able to, uh, with a family member, kind of look over those uh, those memories and reminisce about the past. We could relive live happy mem the moments of their life, and later on, even later on, when they're maybe in a nursing home where they or when they have a caregiver, share those that story with their caregiver and kind of improve the quality of care because now the caregiver understands where they're coming from. The patient is, is a person and not just a patient. So uh, Phil is gonna introduce the app. Uh, so I'm gonna slightly introduce the app and to show you the interface of how to post something into the, into the system, to the database. Uh, the first, when the user gets logs into the, to the system, when the patient logs in, or in the early stages, the patient is cognitive and is able to actually post th things on the internet. They're actually able, they don't have any uh, memory la relapse or anything like that, so they're actually able to post something. If you click, click, click on post the memory. Yeah, you can see that uh, there's four fields, uh, the, the title, the, con the content, the media, and the date. The title is the actual title of the of that post, so it's like a journal entry, um, if you will. So the title uh, tell, says what, what that person did that day. The content is, is what they did that day. The media is usually, it could be a YouTube link, it could be a, a link to a picture, anything that's hosted on the internet. So if it's, if it's a picture, it'd have to be off Flickr or off a server that has that picture is hosted off of. Uh, the date is in a uh, is, uh, year, it's in Canadian Standard Time. So the, the date of that, that actual event, so it's like a journal post, basically. Uh, once it's posted, it actually shows in a very nice and good looking user interface. The very bottom is the actual uh, timeline. At the top is the actual preview. There's two big buttons to uh, demonstrate what two buttons to be used. So left going, going to the previous and going to the future. And so that the usability of the website is very easy. Uh, for anybody in the, er in the late stages, even in late stages and, and early stages of, the, of dementia, um, probably in the late stages you'd have to, a person with dementia would have to, uh, <laughs> uh, a person would have to uh, get a caregiver to help them. And it's, to e it's important to note that this actually increases the connection between the caregiver and the actual person with dementia so that uh, the person that actually is uh, giving the, the treatment uh, gives, understands them as a person and, uh, and, how, and is able to understand their life more in depth, and uh, yeah, and that's our application. So, um, very entertaining pictures you've got. Um, just in terms of the last point you made about um, <coughs> supporting those relationships, how will the caregiver see what, what are they going to see it on? Will they be sitting down together? Will they be seeing it remotely? How, you know, how will they learn this information? When the, uh, when the caregiver comes over to the home, um, they would, uh, the first thing that they would do is they would actually, they would go into a computer and they would actually, with, with the actual patient themselves, they would actually view these things. They would view, uh, it would, when they go on the website, it's, it's actually randomized, so it goes to a random post. It doesn't always go, it doesn't go in sequential order. Oh, uh, you, can, you can view it in sequential order, but when you go to the first website, it just shows you a random post. And so every time the caregiver comes, it will show you a random day, a random post in the, in the timeline. And so they learn something new about that person every single day that they come over. And so this kind of great, creates a, a kind of an uh, emotional bond, if you will, to help the, the caregiver understand the past and say, okay, this is how the, that patient was. Uh, prior to the diagnosis. This is who he was prior to the diagnosis. He won these competitions, he won this, he, were, he was involved in a lot more, not just a, a patient that, that's not able to function anymore in the later stages. Um, 
why I'll ask another question. Um, in terms of them populating it, I think you said it's content that is all hosted on the web. So are you envisaging it once it's populated and people are using it, it will just remain there, or will they keep updating it as new things happen, or how will they interact with it once it, once it's up and going? Uh, once it's on the internet, um, mm -hmm. depending on the stage of the dementia, the person, if it's an early stage, they can post it themselves. Also, there's features right now, we, at the very top, I'm not sure you can see, at the very top of the actual, um, at the very top there's a share button with Facebook. So we have Facebook integration with it so that uh, the post, any post that gets posted on on our website can be posted to Facebook to be shared with other with other individuals so to uh, to uh, show the awareness with this. Also, in later stages it would be more it would be more caregivers and family members that would be helping them post new things uh, or uh, helping them review it more. So in the early stages they would be more posting. In later stages they would be just more reviewing. Just quickly, there are um, many photo storage apps. Uh, many include timeline or inf you know intensity of memories as a feature. So I'm wondering, rather than try to build something again all by yourself for this specific purpose, would you be satisfied if you were able to convince a Flickr or a shoebox or something to have this kind of use case adopted into their product? Yeah, it's something to definitely consider. Um, they, I'm not sure if they would want to kind of uh, give it towards the dementia Community. Um, it would be something to consider, but our interface is very easy to use, and yes, it could be adopted by somebody like Flickr or a, a very big company like that uh, that could actually adopt this very easily. Uh, we could develop APIs even to 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 actually inter integrate with Flickr because right now the website, the, the timeline is in, is integrated with Flickr. So if you go to a, a web to a certain post in the timeline, uh, Flickr actually shows up, and you can actually get pictures from Flickr and and SoundCloud and all these other companies that actually.